The 10.1 inch HMI Intelligent TFT LCD module used in this video is sponsored by the Stone Technology. Stone Technology is a professional manufacturer of HMI Intelligent TFT LCD modules. Depending on the application, the Stone Technology offers industrial type, advanced type and civil type intelligent TFT LCD modules available in different sizes. The one I'll be using today is the Civil Type 10.1 inch HMI display module. For more information visit stoneitech.com. In this episode you will learn how to design a graphical user interface using the images designed in Adobe Photoshop. How to use the button function, how to use the drag adjustment and slider scale functions for controlling the screen brightness. In this video you will also learn how to use the data variable function for displaying the brightness value and how to use the hardware parameter configuration. While in my upcoming videos I will explain how to use this LCD with the Arduino for monitoring different types of sensors and for controlling different types of electrical loads. Without any further delay, let's get started. The purchase links of the HMI TFT LCD module and other components used in this video are given in the description. Let's start the unboxing and see what we have got inside this package. Stone Technology Contact Information The HMI Intelligent TFT LCD module is provided with all the necessary documents explaining the basic connection, development software, GUI, individual design and operation. The product manual gives you an overview about the communication and operation, basic functions, working principle, GUI design software, information about the industrial type, advanced type and civil type HMI TFT LCD modules. You will also find information about the product parts and the typical applications. A USB drive which I will check later. A USB cable for downloading the program. UART to USB converter, a bunch of files for connecting the microcontroller using the DB9 which is also provided with the DC female power jack, finally the 10.1 inch HMI TFT LCD module such a beautiful piece of hardware. This is the several type HMI TFT LCD module and its model number is STVC101WT-01. STV is the company code. C stands for the civil type. 101 means it's a 10.1 inch LCD. W is for the wide range voltage. This particular LCD can be powered up using 6 to 35 volts DC. Zero means it is RS. 232 supported and one is the hardware code. The CPU used in this LCD is 32-bit Cortex-M4. The same type of the CPU is also used in the advanced type and industrial type HMI TFT LCD modules. The internal flash memory is 128 MB which can be extended up to 1 GB. The operation temperature is minus 22 plus 70 centigrade. J3 is the UART port and this is where we connect a microcontroller and a power supply. As you can see the port has a total of 8 pins which are clearly labeled. The first two pins are the ground pins. Pin number 3 is not connected. Pin number 4 is data N which is also known as the RX pin. 
pin number 5 is the data out pin which is also known as the TX pin pin number 6 is not connected while the last two pins are the supply voltage pins J9 is the download board J10 is the U storage disk J2 is the mini USB line download board this is used for uploading the program while J13 is the audio port for connecting an external speaker for now I'll be using the USB cable for uploading the GOI The USB drive provided with the HMI TFT LCD module has the data sheets, international certification, product manual, software and driver, some tutorials and testing projects. So now I'm going to install the driver and then we will start the designing. I started off by downloading an image which I'm going to use in this project. Open the Adobe Photoshop. Click on the file and select New. Make sure you select the width is 1024 and height 600 pixels. Now I'm going to create some buttons.
So these are the final images which I'll be using. This is the main image. This image will be used as the button click effect. This image will be used for controlling the LCD brightness. This image will be used as the button click effect. This image will be used as the welcome screen, while this image will be used as the button click effect. Now it's time to start working on the graphical user interface. Open the Tool 2019 software. Click on the file and select a new project. Select the screen pixels, enter the project name and click OK. Remove this image, we don't need this. Click on the picture file. Click the mouse right key and select it. Select all the images that you want to use in your project. When I click on the welcome button, I want it to jump to the welcome image. While the main image is selected, Click on the aid button and draw a rectangle around the welcome button. For the button effect, select the background click image. For the page switch, select the welcome image. Clone this button and use it for the brightness button. Button effect image remains the same. Only change the page switch image which is the brightness image. Now click on the welcome image. This time I want, when I press the big button, it jumps back to the main image. This involves the same steps. Select the button. Draw a rectangle around the big button. Select the button effect image. And finally, select the page switch image. Now click on the Generate Configuration file. Click on the Virtual Serial Port Screen button. This way you can check your GUI without using the LCD. As you can see it's working. The big button on the brightness image is not working. Now let's do the same settings for the brightness image. Follow the same exact steps. Now we will start working on the brightness control for this first click on the hardware parameter configuration button and draw a rectangle around the OK button. In the control properties select mode 1. Click on the drag adjustment button and select the area where you want to add the slider. Now you have to carefully select the variable memory which you can find in the datasheet. Enter 6F01. 
set the end value as 64. Next, I'm going to generate the icon which I'll use as the slider. As you can see, the icon is generated. Now click on the slider scale and draw a rectangle. Select the terminate scale value and enter the same variable memory. Click on the icon file and select the icon. Now let's check if it's working. As you can see, the point is a bit off. This time you can see it's properly aligned. Now you can see I can control the brightness. Now let's display the brightness value over here. This time I'm going to use the data variable function. Use the same variable memory. Set the integer digits to 2. And increase the digit size if you want. As you can see, it's working perfectly. Now this is ready for the download. As you can see, I just connected the LCD. Now click on the download online button. After you download the GOI, disconnect the USB cable. Now let's practically check this on the LCD. In upcoming videos, you will see the real power of this LCD. I will use this LCD in monitoring and control system projects, security systems and so on. Don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss any of my upcoming tutorials. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.